Craig Poopis, 30 Edgemont Road. Just a simple question. Uh, when it was asked why we need the redevelopment agency, uh, Councilwoman uh, Griffin Yusek mentioned um, that the agency would be looking for properties to redevelop, but that's not what you said. So how are you going to vote if you don't know what it's about? Thank you. Mr. Walker. Fred Wolke, 10 Peak Road, Edison. Uh, I am steadfastly against uh, the having this redevelopment agency as part of our uh, government here in Edison. Uh, as a, a great president of the United States once said, the buck stops here. And I feel that the buck has to stop with the council. The council is the one that should be in charge of redevelopment. And I think they're just trying to put certain people on the council, and not everybody, certain people on the council and the mayor want to have a buffer between them and what they want to see done here in Edison without having to take responsibility for it. So I think the best way to do that is to get a redevelopment agency and put them in between. That way you don't have to take any responsibility for what your actions are. And uh, I think, as Harry Truman said, the buck should stop here and this council should take responsibility for redevelopment as they did with Hearts Mountain. And I think they did a pretty good job on Hearts Mountain. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, first time speakers. Yes, ma'am. I'm Faith Heisler, 24 Chestnut Street. I'm sorry. I'm Faith Heisler, 24 Chestnut Street. Uh, I think what I want to do is get up here and say what they said. I think you've heard a whole bunch of people. I haven't heard one of them speak in favor of this redevelopment agency tonight. And as Mr. Tomorrow said, this agency would be a way to circumvent the public vote that was taken in 2006 in which three, three to one or four to one, we, the residents of Edison, voted against using eminent domain to seize private land for private development, you know, for, for profit-making development by a private developer. Um, that the agency could issue bonds is going to cost all of us in terms of our taxes, that the agency members would be professionals, so they wouldn't be part of the community. They could make all sorts of recommendations and wouldn't have to live with the consequences. We all have to live with the consequences. Uh, it's not a good idea. I'm against it. I think everyone you've heard talk is against it, and I think you should be listening to some of that. Thank you. First time speakers, Dr. Oscala. Dr. Scala, LaHare Avenue. There's an awful lot of talent on the town council. You have many occupations, educational backgrounds, cultural backgrounds represented. To have a redevelopment agency, in a sense, is putting yourself down. You're not giving yourself enough credit for the talent you have, for the capability that you have the knowledge that you have about the community. I'm strongly opposed to the redevelopment agency because I think it puts another level of bureaucracy on. In some ways, it leaves many opportunities for weasels to go sneaking around and taking advantage. I think that let's keep it simple. You all have the capability. You know with your town, you've lived here. Remember, many of you have lived here for many years. Use your own talents. Use your knowledge. You have a lot of talented residents out here, in this room even, who can help you. We're willing to do this without any strings attached, without any weasels in their pockets. So I would strongly suggest that you reconsider this. Don't put yourselves down by getting a redevelopment agency. Use what you have. And I think it would be less costly, it would be economically sane, and I think more effective. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Scott. First time speakers, Ms. Wales.
Somebody called me today and they told me I look old on television. I am old. <laughs> I had to say to my son, do I look any different with what he's talking about? Uh, I just find it uh, kind of amusing that we keep, keep making reference to hearts. What happened to hearts? We're still waiting for hearts. So I got a problem with that as an example of anything. Because the council came to an agreement with hearts and somebody's holding it up. Uh, I am opposed to adding another layer and especially removing it from the control of you who are elected. Uh, there are some other things. I have a problem with uh, going back with old business. When Mr. Bauman ruled that the council could not be the redevelopment entity, that they could only be the agent for. And I, can, I still have problems finding the statutory reference for that. So could somebody help me, Mr. Lair or Mr. Bauman, where it says that the council could not be the redevelopment entity, only the agent? Mr. Bauman? Council President. Um, the township can be the redevelopment entity. The redevelopment agency is the agency we're talking about creating today. So I know uh, I wish they had used different words because it, it's uh, confusing. But the uh, redevelopment entity is the governing the body, the public body that is empowered to implement the plan. It can be the township of Edison. It can be the township of Edison redevelopment agency. It could also be a housing authority if you had one. You don't. Or you could use the County Improvement Authority. Those are the four choices under the statute for being the redevelopment entity for purpose of implementation. Is that in writing where that says we can be the agent only? Because many times when they refer to the municipality or the township, they're talking about the governing body of. So if you can kind of give me the reference for that so I can check into what I would thank you. The other question I have is on the ordinance in print that you have before you. Have you all done your due diligence and read what you were gonna vote on? Or is there, are there any things in it that you see that you may wanna change as it is now written? We don't get a chance to hear anything from you until we stop. So I just wanna know if you did your due diligence in reading what you were going to approve. The council, you're going to vote. Anybody have an answer? Then I assume that you're satisfied with the way it is now worded. And I would like to call your attention to some of the things that I question in it. First of all, I question, I underline municipality and township until I get the statutory reference from Mr. Bauman. And then when it gets to um, the commissioners, section 35.2, and it spells out the term. We ran into a problem with the, um, that bid where one paragraph said one thing and the next paragraph said something else. Well, in this section, it provides for uh, the first time when you appoint people and it gives a one for one term and up to two for five years. And then if you read further, well it says, officers or employees of the township. Do these people have to be residents? There's nothing in here that says whether or not there's a residence requirement.